hands on the heart. Forward. With that shoe. Okay. Hand come off now. Okay. Pull. It is Saturday morning. And if you watched the end of the last video of Minecraft that I came out with, you would know that my base got burned down. So, you know, not completely. I still have like a bunch of my resources and supplies, but enough where I feel like it's time to move on and start a Western town. So, we yeah, have a couple builds already being put up. We have the Harvey Girls Bar and Gr Bar and Saloon, which is basically, I think I'm keeping like food and like random stuff. And upstairs is like storage and um, oh, I'm good. Thanks. So, um, and they're just, you know, not really important, just kind of drop chests, um, my wood storage. I am trying to consolidate, um, just because I feel like the last storage system that I had in the other base was kind of outrageously large. Um, so yeah, consolidation, and we have the bank over here. Um, just nice and tiny. I'm putting some flower boxes in here to get some other colors other than like brown and brown. Um, still need to get the roof on, but yeah, I already like how this is turning out. I've been wanting to build a western themed for a while. Even though as I'm building the western themed as we speak, I'm like, wow. Out of all the styles there are to play in Minecraft, I feel like this style is not one of my favorites, but... <sighs> Excuse me for the yawn. Um, but, you know, we're dealing with building within the style for now, and yeah, we'll be here for a little bit more. Um, getting the spruce logs, but it's been a while since I've had to go around and detail things, so I really think with the how basic the shape of western themed builds are, it gives me the opportunity to really go in and be like, yeah, I want to put this block here. <laughs> can we go, oh, yeah, we can put a mud in there. Um, which, you know, is kind of like a another layer of building that I have completely been ignoring. Um, so it's nice to come back to this. I don't know if I want to extend the top roof up a little bit, but I'm going to finish off the roof a little bit and continue on. And then, yeah, hopefully you guys will enjoy the day and Oh, sorry. I just woke up. Um, still yawning. Still have not had coffee. But I wanted to, you know, update you on the tragedy and the growing past of... The Wild West theme is very fitting because it was, it's always like, you know, you just deal with kind of the tragedy, the complete, um, you know... <laughs> leaving worlds as you know it um, and going into the Wild West. Me and Dillinger have been listening to um, History Chicks podcast around the Wild West theme. So we listened to an episode they did about the Harvey Girls recently, which is uh, has something to do with the rail lines and establishing, um, you know, families and, like, living people in the, um, Wild West are surrounding the railroad lines, because, like, you know, it's logical that populations grow from the travel routes that are in place, and apparently this one guy, Fred Harvey, was, um, 
the guy uh what's phrase i want to um he, that is credited as bringing civilization i don't know if it was fred harvey or his son but credited as bringing civilization to the west coast whatever that means in victorian era um terms and yeah, so Fred Harvey, there's a bunch of babies that were either named Fred or Harvey because he would bring out a lot of women as waitresses to the Wild West to serve, you know, the bars and restaurants that were along the line of the trail route, railway right, route, um, and yeah, then these women that would come out to the West would end up getting married by, you know, railroad workers or gold rush people or people looking to make a living in the West, and so they would go and start families, and yeah, it was really interesting. Apparently, the owner, Fred Harvey, you would, would have his, um, waitresses sign contracts being like okay i'm not going to leave for a year after getting trained or otherwise i forfeit my um salary like that was such a scam not a scandalous because it was a rather normal thing but it was such a problem for him that he would lose his waitresses to you know family home life because <laughs> This is Victorian times. Do you think mothers are working outside of the house and raising children at the same time? Nah. But um, it's really interesting. Entire generations of little boys named um, Fred or Harvey. So if you ever wonder the population of those two names, it is because, well, partly because Fred Harvey helped facilitate the Wild West, and yeah. Anyways, I am going to go ahead and continue making a space for more buildings and then finishing up the roof of that other bank building that I have yet to complete. I don't know how I want to, you know, make the front signs at the front of the buildings um like because that's supposed to be a like bar saloon this is supposed to be the bank um so i don't know what would be the best way to oh yeah what's the best way to make signs that say bank and saloon because i feel like that would add a lot of detailed um into what I'm making. Wow, I really need to go drink coffee, so let me accomplish that feat and a few more things in this game of Minecraft, and then I'll get back to you with hopefully some more stellar information about things that I learned. All right, we are back at the original base. Not the original base, but the main base that we've been at for a while, and wow, if you wanted to take a look at the aftermath of what happened, feast your eyes on just a bunch of water logged squares. Quite tragic if you ask me, this was already shaping up to be one of my favorite builds, like, ever in Minecraft, but... It's fine. It's fine that it all just randomly got destroyed, but we still have this whole section, a bunch of unfinished projects, ideas that were never fully realized, and that's okay. Sometimes the world be like that, telling you, hey, even though you got a great idea, it's just like not the right time for it, man. Just wait your turn. Um... Yeah, maybe we'll come back to these build styles one day, or I'll try and emulate my building um, ideas again in another situation. But for now, we are slowly but surely 
making our way to the other side of the map. I don't actually know if it's the other side of the map, but um, the other base at least, but it is going to take me a while to get everything transferred over because I'm trying to also consolidate um, and, you know, not have pits of chest storage to help keep my problems down. Anyways, um, yeah, so basically we are here um, gathering some materials that we will be needing to build the rest of the builds later today. Um, but yeah, Sunday, I'm gonna go take a break real quick and read a book. I'm, wor I'm working on reading two books, one called like why something about oh uh slap in the face why insults hurt and why they should not and the second one is liar shoulders september spy which is about four different women during the civil war era and how they dealt with you know union versus confederate situation and the, the abolition of slavery so um, I think they are also white women. I'm not sure because, um, I haven't gotten through all of the characters, like, introductions yet, but it does take the perspective of, um, not the perspective, but it tells the story from the point of view of a few Confederate women, so that's not, I mean, I guess, I don't know, I've never seen Gone with the Wind, so I don't I really couldn't tell you what it's all about. I know it's about the wind and being gone. But, um, yeah, I don't think I've really, I personally have consumed many forms of media that takes on the perspective of the Confederate woman. I mean, I don't think so. I'm thinking back to the things that I read and consume, and I genuinely don't usually pick out reads. I think I picked out this particular book because like, I don't know, it, the title was interesting to me, <laughs> to be honest. I got sold by the title and yeah, this is turning into a little book clip, a book talking clip. So forgive me. Um, yeah, I'll let you know how the book turns out. Welcome back. Happy, happy Wednesday. Hello, sir. You're not supposed to be here, um, especially behind the counter of this little bank I have created, and uh, you kind of took down the door. All right. Nice. Nice to know. Hi, guys. How are you? Happy Wednesday. Hope it's going wonderful. We are back at this western little village that we have sprouting up a few more buildings it's been a few days um because you know life goes on and i have to live it and do things um and actually this is the first time i've been playing in a couple days like i said before wow i'm literally just repeating myself i'm sorry i woke up with like a pretty nasty migraine this morning and i then took my migraine medicine so that really doesn't mean the migraine's gone it's just all the pain <laughs> is blocked out but it's still i still get migraine symptoms like you know <laughs> lack of muscle control or energetic muscle yeah so if i don't say words correctly it's most likely because you know my brain is having trouble functioning today anyways um yeah we're just kind of chilling um today because i am recovering from said migraine um but we have a little bit of a village coming up and it's exciting, and I am debating, well, I'm not really debating with myself, I have decided to make builds related to the things that I am consuming in real life. Like right now, I am in part two, so I think it's um, going through the year of 1862 of um, the Civil War. This book titled 
uh, sh what is it? The liar, temptress, soldier, soldier, spy, poor woman, undercover in the Civil War by Karen Abbott. And I'm really entertained with it. I, I well, okay, I've talked about this earlier in the episode, but it's pretty good. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna implement some of the inspirations that I get from said builds, said reading, and build in Minecraft. Wow. Words are functioning well with the sentence structure. But I am going to go ahead and not push myself to record a clip for right now and just kind of build something and check back in later. I already know this Wednesday episode that's supposed to be coming out today will be late, but um, you know what? <laughs> Who really cares? Not me. Alright. Well, hello there. It is Haley, the tall girl. Um, welcome back. So we are building a bridge and I am naming it the Bellboy Bridge because Bellboy is one of the characters in the book that I am reading and she is this uh, rebel confederate spy during the Civil War and basically she is really obsessed with Stonewall Jackson and she's like barely a teenager, well she is like a teenager, she's like in that time and age she's basically an adult but like still <laughs> it is um i mean it's hard to judge somebody through you know a single book um and like written about their lives like many many years past um but it's like i feel like she would be considered somebody with like a personality disorder nowadays I don't know I like I'm not a licensed psychologist by any means and I am like not um trying to be like she's terrible well she is kind of terrible because she did support the confederacy but and she was like a confederate spy but I mean like yeah, she was not really well liked by the other females in town, um, and apparently when she was arrested, people were just like, cool, goodbye. Um, and she was like, just really into the confederacy, I guess. Um, I don't know. It's turning out to be a pretty interesting book. I really like that I picked it up. Um, I don't know how I'm doing this. I, in this moment, I'm not appreciating how the block axis changes for these log blocks, but I think if I do that, and then I do boom boom, and then boom boom, and then I'll have to take down this little area. But if I go, I think like that, nope, yes, that works. Even this productivity, woo, fun times guys. Um, anyways, so yeah, I'm just building, expanding this little area over here bring slowly bringing blocks here and there and I guess now the job is to carve out this little mountain I don't know if I want to make this like a bridge with like arcs or just like a covered bridge or just put like random um support systems I don't know I don't know what I'm saying words still have like a migraine but you know still that medicine is working you gotta love modern medicine <laughs> basically just blocking out the pain okay anyways yeah I've just on that note I've just been thinking <laughs> random tangent again as I continue to grind away that these mesa blocks but I realize not everybody suffers from migraines and I feel like you're either the type of person who knows exactly what getting a migraine is like or you don't understand and what migraines are and you're just like migraines aren't they just like really terrible headaches but no they're like a neurological um disorder is 
that the right word, but I've been suffering from them since high school, and I remember it was like approximately my junior year when I first started to get really terrible migraines. And yeah, that's luckily um, my mom also suffers from migraines, so we kind of knew what to look for, and she at least knew the signs and was able to help facilitate like the proper care for me. But damn, migraines freaking suck. I remember one time specifically in high school, it was getting re it was um the night before a rally, so we were at rally rehearsal. And I had the absolute worst migraine possible. I was standing up and I remember distinctly I just kind of lost eyesight. <laughs> but I had to stay in place because like, you know, that's that's rehearsal. So I kind of just like stood there being blinded by like, you know, my own brain and the light. <laughs> and then I just kind of sat down um, when I sat, could sat down and luckily the bleachers were like right there. So that was nice. And yeah, that's just one of my very first memories of having to deal with migraines. And it's just like, I think the ability to take migraine medicine cause and I think having migraine medicine that actually works because some people um, can't even take migraine medicine and that's very, very unfortunate. And sometimes I haven't done, gotten this terrible of my migraine yet, but it's literally like they have to go get a shot to calm down or be relieved of pain. And, Hopefully, I'll never have to experience that, but just even dealing with waking up this morning and feeling like somebody was stabbing me through the eye <laughs> um, is pretty terrible, not gonna lie, but, you know, <laughs> who really wants to listen to Haley's uh, complaints about her medical brain issues. Brain issues mean migraines are a neurological thing. Did I already mention that? Yeah. The whole brain working kind of lacks function when you're dealing with migraine. But, um, yeah, fun times, guys. I'm going to go ahead, end off this episode and this migraine rent rent and remembering um okay i need to do something up there i think i'm gonna do a covered bridge situation but mm -hmm. i'll work on that off camera and then we'll come back to you with the next episode and i already have plenty ideas for the next episode to come so be ready be excited winner winner chicken dinner